Scars. Every weekend and other days sometimes, Ganoir and I go to Luz. It feels so good to go someplace simple, to work and sing and eat cookies with chocolate. Ganoir doesn't say so, but I think he is calmer on these days. Sometimes he even whistles a song on the radio or tells a joke, tells me a joke in English that I don't understand, always though I laugh to make him happy. One afternoon, Ganoir and I rebuild a gate that's rotted away at the edge of the field. It's long work, and we sweat under our thick coats. The sun is still weary and weak, like a traveler too long on the road. But each day, it's trying harder to warm the world. Ganoir wipes away sweat with his arm. The six lines etched on his forehead glisten. I will never have the gar, I say suddenly. My words surprise me. It's an idea I've never let myself think about until now. The initiation ceremony is part of another place, a place I may never return to. You're lucky, Ganwar says. Why would you want such scars? Here they mean nothing. There, they meant everything, I say. I lean on the fence. How will I know when I'm a man? Ganwar keeps hammering. When you own a fine car and a house with many bathrooms, then you're a man in this country, he answers with a smile. It isn't so funny, I say. You've been tested, and I haven't. You were brave. I look away. I don't want him to see my eyes and what lies hidden there. Me? I haven't been. Sure you have, Ganoir replies. You were in the camp alone. You came here alone. That's plenty brave. It doesn't take a knife in the hand of a village elder for you to prove yourself. I pick up my hammer and slam it hard against a rusty nail sticking out of the wood. That's easy for you to say. After that, I won't talk anymore. But I hammer many nails as hard as I can. Even with my gloves on, I have a good hurting blister to show for it. <laughs>